Hi guys, it's Ellie and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be comparing two different primers. So lately there has been talk about this new e.l.f. primer, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I just picked it up. I was going to include it in like a collective haul that I'm going to do, but I really wanted to compare it with the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. So this one I obviously have used before. I own it, I do really like it. There has been a little bit of talk saying that it's possibly a dupe for this guy. I did also hear a while back that L'Oreal also has a primer that's very similar to this, so I might pick that up just to compare. But I saw this at the store, I've been wanting to try it, so I figured let's compare it anyway. Obviously, since I have used this and I've owned it for a while now, I'm going to just read off the description of what it says. Now you do get 15 milliliters, which is 0.5 fluid ounces. It looks like they've repackaged it because I'm looking at the website and it looks different. Interesting. Okay. So this goes for $39 and it's described as a melt and smoothing primer with innovative blurring and filling technology for a youthful appearance, perfectly primed for makeup application. Helps with large pores, fine lines, wrinkles, antioxidant rich formula infused with vitamin C and E and green bean extract gently melts into the skin delivering a surge of moisture. Peptides and other naturally derived elixirs for a firmer, smoother appearance. It's a lightweight texture, fresh powder scent, provides a blank canvas, soft focus, cruelty-free, cool. I actually didn't know that it had all of those little benefits in it, so that's kind of cool to find out. So that is that. I'm going to read the e.l.f. one. Now I picked mine up at Target. I was just doing a Target run and I saw it, but obviously there are many other locations that you can get it. And the Tarte one I did buy at Ulta. A while back so this one is eight dollars according to online so eight dollars for this versus the 39 and they do have different versions of it I got the poreless one because I thought that that would be the most similar to the clean slate one right that's what it's called yeah clean slate. they have a luminous one and a matte one as well so eight dollars for this you get point 74 ounces 21 grams so you get a little bit more it says this perfecting putty primer smooths skin and preps it with a squ squalene to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear velvety texture glides over the skin smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect so right off the bat it seems like the tart one has a lot more actual benefits to it but it does seem like they both kind of have the same purpose, which is to be a base for foundation and to smooth it out and fill in pores. Okay, so, but it says applied moisturized skin, allowed to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. Oh, I wonder if there's directions here. I mean, we know how to use a primer, right? But just, just for technicalities, right? Let's compare. Smooth the pearl size amount over skin before applying make makeup or wear alone as a treatment to minimize the appearance of okay so it does say that you can wear this alone i guess because there are benefits in it or to just have a more smooth appearance in this one so cool let's just compare now it is later in the day so i don't know if i'm going to be doing a check-in i might but it depends i got a late start today a lot going on those are the two let's open that up obviously I've used this one before. This is the e.l.f. one. What I think I'm going to do is actually apply half and half just to compare. Let's start with my left side with the e.l.f. I'm just going to go in and I like to just pick it up like that. I'm not going to use a beauty blender or anything like that. I just kind of scrape with the back of my nail. My hands are clean. I just wash them and i just want to feel that so off the bat it feels a lot more almost like not a liquid obviously but almost like i guess emollient would be the word let me open this i should have opened it before i just want to feel the two where this kind of is like 
silky, I guess, where this is almost like lotion. I mean, I put a lot more over here, but this definitely feels like lotion. Definitely feels more like a cream where this kind of like disappeared into my fingers. All right, let's start. Let's put the e.l.f. on my left side. It does apply nicely to the skin. Just in that little moment. It's funny, I was literally just going to say it almost feels like a putty. That's what it's called. So, okay. And now my right side, let's get the clean slate primer and apply that. I hope you guys are able to see the difference too. But let's apply that. Hmm. Not as creamy, but it kind of disappears. My skin has been so out of whack. I had like a week and a half maybe of like nice skin and it's acting up again. That's fun, right? Now having the two side by side, I feel like the tart side is, yeah, definitely like more silky, kind of like, I don't know if you can hear it. I feel like that's a good way of kind of understanding, but it almost like glides on the skin type of thing. And the e.l.f. side has a little bit more of like a tackiness to it. Definitely not sticky, but just comparing the two, I feel it more. It feels like I put like a moisturizer or something on. So this is now set. This is fine. And I'm going to put my foundation over top to compare. So the foundation that I'm going to be using is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. The original one, not the dewy one. I do want to get my hands on the dewy one though. And I'm just going to put that all over. I'm going to also use two brushes, the same type of brush, but just two different brushes on both sides just to keep it separated. Name that song. Gotta keep them separated. So they're both by Crown Brushes. It's this type of brush. So this is a tart side. This is a tart side. I definitely should have waited to apply this foundation, but it smooth things out i definitely do still see i have like an imperfection here that had a little bit of dryness around fun cute but i kind of i feel like it's kind of clinging on to the dryness around but as far as like my nose it definitely smoothed it out a little bit and my smile lines a little bit now let's compare with the elf side i'm gonna try that same brush. I know they're like the same brushes, but see if it makes a difference just because for some reason that brush felt like it was going on a little bit differently. If you hear any babies in the background, those are my children. So interestingly enough, I actually was thinking that the e.l.f. may have worked better on this side where I had a little bit of that dryness versus the Tarte one because it has more of that like creamy feel to it. I thought maybe it would moisturize a little bit more. However, the Tarte does have the actual benefits with like the vitamins and all of that. It does say it's supposed to moisturize. So maybe it'll help. I just see it. So I'm curious how the e.l.f. would have looked, but I definitely see a difference. Granted, my skin is not the best right now. So to be fair, it's hard to see, I guess, the full potential. Also name that. What's, what is that from? If you know it, we can be friends. To be fair, I was looking by my eyebrow. I don't know, maybe it was the blending, but I felt like it almost was like moving the foundation a little bit. This definitely feels moisturized, but it's more of like that slip. However, the foundation is not moving. This side feels a little bit more, I guess wet, not wet. I don't know what the term would be, but comparing the two, it feels almost like wet, like I feel it on my skin more. I feel like it was actually a little bit tougher to blend out the foundation on the e.l.f. side, but it still worked nicely. Now that I'm looking closer, I just feel like I, I could see some spots where I could have like buffed it in a little bit more and even like pressing it in. I feel like this would probably work better with a makeup sponge. 
Okay, I just made it a little bit brighter in here for my sake, just to be able to see a little bit better. I don't know if it's gonna pick up a little bit better on camera or if it's gonna be too bright, but let's compare. So they do seem very similar, but different. They both definitely seem to be smoothing. I do think the Tarte side is a little bit more smoothing. I do wanna see how other makeup wears on top of this. I will try to do a check-in. We shall see, but right now I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then come back and give you my thoughts. So I went and I finished up my makeup. I had a little bit of a different vision, but this is what it came out as. As far as the makeup, I actually feel like they work pretty similar in the sense that they are meant to be pore filling primers. They're similar in just, I guess, the packaging that it's in like these little tubs. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you with these thoughts. As far as if this is a dupe, I would say yes, in the sense that it works similarly and it works well. But of course you get more benefits with the Tarte primer. But I really did like the performance of this as well. Now, if I can do a check-in, I will. But if not, I do think if you want a pore filling primer that's similar to the Tarte one, but you don't want to spend the money, then yes, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, I would consider it a dupe. But I wouldn't really say that it's a an exact replica. Does that make sense? So if you want like a pore filling primer and you're curious about this, start off with this, see how you like it. And I personally do love this one. So if you wanna just go for it, go for it. And it has lots of benefits to your skin as well. So I hope you guys like this. If you did, let me know. I Let me know if you want me to pick up the L'Oreal one and compare those two as well. I'm gonna start doing more of these like dupe videos. The makeup sat well on my face, both sides. I feel like they both blended out pretty nicely. I actually really liked how my blush and bronzer blended out on the elf side. So that's something to think about. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you wanna see more dupe videos. Let me know if you want me to pick up that L'Oreal primer and compare that to see if that's a possible dupe. Be sure to stay happy. I will see you guys in my next video.